Hello guys and welcome to Bradio Software Development. My name is Brad and today we're going to be talking about analysing plot logs. Now uh, a couple of people asked in the comments after my last video with the raid drives. They wanted to see the comparison between raiding and not raiding. Now I don't have those exact specific differences in my logs but I do have differences between when I was not raiding with a 4 terabyte drive, when I was raiding with a, uh, two 1 terabyte drives and also now I'm raiding with two two terabyte raid drives so i wanted to just go through my logs and look at all my stats and then uh, hopefully it will help you understand your logs better and um, improve your plotting in the future so without further ado let's get straight into the video Now, I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying that I do apologize for the text size on my video right now because uh, there's a lot of data to go through and I wanted to explain it all as a, as a general picture. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this exact file into, a, uh, into my description so that you can download the file and you can have a look yourself at all the different logs if you can't see it. Otherwise, just you know, zoom in and um, try and make the best of it you can. So um, I have been, uh, if we scroll down to the bottom here, oh, also, sure, I should also point out as well that I have um, deleted some of the bad logs. So it doesn't necessarily mean they've been bad plots. It just means that the logs haven't been calculated properly. Um, there is, uh, I've, you also notice on the left-hand side here that I've actually put the Chia version number. And ever since 1.1.6, the there have been no bad logs so it looks like they've improved the logging massively in 1.1.6 so i haven't had a chance to look at the change log for 1.1.6 but um, i can only assume that they've done something to do with the logging output because it is a lot better than it was 1.1.5 um, so um, yeah it's a lot better um, so i wanted to start off by looking at the bottom so i started um if I look down here in this column, the AL column, it actually says on the 12th of May. So I've been doing this for almost two weeks now, which uh, time has completely flown by. I've currently got uh, 140 something plots at the minute. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got. So uh, I've currently got 146 plots at the minute. I haven't uh, won any cheer yet, unfortunately, but it's plotting away and uh, I'm actually going to change this configuration because I've realised it's not as good as the last one I had, but we'll come back to that in a second. So I've been plotting for almost two weeks and um, I've colour-coded all of the different sections and I've grouped them up into... Um, sort of sections when I've changed the configuration or I've changed my hardware build and we're going to run through that now. So back when I first started plotting, I had a one... 4 terabyte SSD and it wasn't raided because there's only one of them you can't raid a single drive and I also had two 16 gigabyte sticks of memory actually I've just noticed something um, I actually um, had 8 gigabytes at this point um, so I'm going to change that sorry about that so yeah I've just, just noticed that while I was recording the video better change that so uh, when I first started I had 2 times 8 gigabyte sticks making a total of 16 gig of memory now a few people in the discord channel told me that was quite low and I realised very quickly that that was very very low it only allowed so this, this column here is my maximum amount of plots that were allowed to run in Plotman and I could only run a maximum of 4 um, the hard drive could actually take more than that but the um, the amount of plots that I could actually run simultaneously was a lot lower because of the amount of memory. Each one takes around 3,800 megabytes of memory. I couldn't run any more than that because my memory just died and my whole system kept crashing. So I had a lot of error logs in the first stage when I was trying to get this up and running. Um, on the left here, you can see uh, I have uh, three columns here. So this one is actually what's this one so this is the average this d column is the average of the whole group so all of that color coded uh, area there between line 106 and 145 that's the average of the total amount of individual plot time and then the second one is the total amount of plots and then the first one is the average amount of time it takes per plot when they're staggering so if you look here 159 that's in minutes so 60 120 180 a little under three hours per plot in order to um in to do a plot and that's well that's when they're staggered so um what happens is it comes in 
does the first one, starts off the second one, starts off the third, starts off the fourth, and as they come out the other end, it's in three hour blocks. So it's a very, very slow actually, three hours, it's very, very slow um, on, on, on a staggered system. And then also on here, I don't think I logged it, uh, total in phase one. So this is actually, uh, sorry, I should actually have done this, but that is actually four, and that is also four. Sorry, I missed out a few things here because I've been looking at numbers for the last three hours, trying to analyze these plots, and I've missed out a few, a few key, key, a few key details. So yeah, so this column here is actually the, the total amount of jobs that I allow in phase one. Now, because I only had one temporary directory, I could only have four in total in phase one because of the. Uh, the amount of RAM requirements for the first phase was very, very low. So as I said, it kept killing my uh, machine because the RAM kept running out. So um, yeah, if you look in this column here, this is the total amount in phase one. So that requires the most amount of CPU um, and also the most amount of memory. So what I could have actually done is probably made this uh, two or one, and then I could have increased my amount of threads to maybe four um, in order to get the maximum amount of speed out of this. That's why it's fairly slow. Three hours to do um, to, to a whole set of plots is not very fast at all. Um, so that's the that's when I first started. That's when I you know was doing it for about three or four days um, and just left it running. Uh, you can see here that the, the end time is the 17th of May and the start is the 12th of May. So that was about five days running in that configuration. Uh, if we scroll up here, so I still had my one four terabyte drive. This is before I learned about um, that you need multiple SSDs in different RAID configurations to maximize your write speeds. So I thought that my bottleneck was actually the RAM. So I bought some more sticks of RAM uh, and I increased the maximum amount of plots to 12. Uh, and that was across the one directory. Now that was uh, a pretty bad idea and a bit uh, a bit bad on my part because even though I had more RAM, I ended up actually not using the whole 64 gigabytes of RAM because you only need that amount of RAM in phase one anyway. So that was actually completely pointless getting this much RAM. I should have actually maybe got two times 16. Two times 16 would have been more than enough. Uh, I thought I'd just go in, like go all in and just say, look, okay, I want the maximum amount of RAM so I can do the maximum amount of plots. But as you can see here my time compared to the first round of testing that I did was actually a little bit slower and that may have been down to the uh, the amount of plots that I was doing in total I should have probably made that six plots in succession and then maybe made this two so no more than uh, two plots in phase one because the right speed is actually the bottleneck in this whole section here so the right speed is only 500 megabits per um, megabytes per second so this is where the next phase comes in that I wanted to um, experiment with. And here I've got my uh, two times one terabyte drive. So these are my SSDs uh, that I bought and I decided to raid zero of them. I've done a bit of reading and uh, you can tell here that my time didn't actually improve that much. Now that might be down to because I didn't test it for long enough because I've only got one, two, three, four, five um, plots here that i had done on that configuration, which isn't really enough time to give you a proper overview of how good that configuration is. You need to let it run for about at least 10, 15 plots before you can work out whether the configuration is decent. So I think that number may have actually come down over time as I got, uh, as, as it plotted, but because I only left it for five plots, it was quite high. And you can see here, I've got four hours, 50 minutes per plot but taking over uh, 60, 120, just a little over two hours uh, on the outbound plots. So that wasn't too bad, but again, it can always be improved. So then we come up to here, which is the slightly dark, the slightly lighter shade of red. Uh, and here we've got uh, two times one terabyte drive. So I haven't increased the amount of drives I've had. So also on this uh, purple section here, I also increased the amount of threads to four. Uh, I probably should have kept that on two just to see what the difference was between um, having a four terabyte and then having two times one terabytes and raid zeros. But I didn't think that far ahead. So I just increased it to four when I was messing around with the configuration. And you can see here, I've also increased the RAM to uh, 3,800 megabytes of RAM from 3,400 because I thought, well, you know, I've got way more RAM now, so I can actually increase it more and maximize the amount, the total amount of RAM that I have. Uh, and then we move on to this section here, which is a slightly uh, lighter color of red. 
and I've done this for a total of 20 plots and as you can see here my total plot time has gone to an hour and a half 90 minutes 95 minutes that's very very good and taking a total of five hours per plot so the amount of the amount of plots uh, the amount of time it takes per plot is now gone to five hours which is actually uh, up from the previous time but because I'm doing uh, more temporary uh, because I've allocated more threads so is it over here you can see I've actually allocated 12 threads which is which is way way too high I shouldn't have done that but it has increased the amount of speed that the plots come in and out uh, so it's actually gone to an hour and a half on plot time which is really good so everybody always focuses on this number here which is the amount of time it takes per plot but you don't want to do that you want to look at the amount of plots you can get out staggered um, on the way out so as they're coming in fine it'll be quicker on the first couple of uh, rounds of, of staggering but then you'll notice that the amount of time between the last one and the second to last one that's the time that you want to look at because then you can just let it run and th that's the time and that's essentially what this this time is here uh, which is an hour and a half so if we scroll up to the absolute best configuration I've ever had so far since plotting so I've managed to uh, get another two times one terabyte hard drives in RAID 0 so now I've got two temporary drives I've got uh, two in RAID 0 another two in RAID 0 this is what I did with uh, the last video that I made when I was talking about raiding and uh, you can see here that my total plot time is 60 minutes or 60 minute plots now I had it on my stream that it was 30 minute plots and I realized that the reason I did that was because when I was first watching it it was at 30 minutes but then as time went on it started to slow down and the threads were getting utilized and more kept coming in and it did actually slow down a little bit but 60 minute plots is still very good that's 24 a day so I'm now doing 24 plots per day um, and you can see here as well that I've lowered the amount of threads down to eight uh, and then I also lowered them down to four as well so actually what I should have done really is I should have grouped these up into another subsection um, so let's just do that now actually and see what it comes out with so actually you can see that when I was running uh, two times two terabyte in RAID 0 uh, with four with eight max jobs and four maximum in phase one and eight threads it was actually running at 81 minutes per plot when I changed the threads down to four it actually ran even faster at 60 minutes so that is actually an hour per plot so this just goes to show you that more threads doesn't necessarily mean faster plots uh, so that's actually really, really good. So I'm actually going to go back to this configuration, I think. Or I might keep it like that configuration and then just tweak it slightly uh, a little bit more and see what happens there. It just goes to show that like looking at your logs is actually quite handy to do. Um, and it's really, really good to compare between different con uh, configurations. One thing I will say if you're going to do this is make sure uh, when you're doing a test, make sure you run it for 24 hours for start. And also make sure you take a copy of the plot man configuration that you had for that run. I had to basically go back through uh, my Amazon purchases and work out exactly when I swapped from the two times eight to the two times thirty two, and when I bought the hard drives. Uh, I had to look at all the dates, and I had to basically figure all that out manually. Also, the start and end dates as well—they're not very Excel friendly. So I had to go onto a website and I had to. Uh, work out the start time here to the end time up there in order to work out the amount of minutes um, between that run so yeah I, I think you want to try and aim for about you know 24 hours and then that should be I should give you a good benchmark for how to analyze your logs so that's my video uh, somebody asked for it so um, I've, I've sorry I've completely forgotten your username but um, you asked for it so there you have it that's uh, basically me comparing my logs between um, you know, as I've increased the plotting and as I've um, as I've learned more and I've increased the hardware, uh, this is the uh, this is the outcome. Sixty minute plots is uh, is, is the perfect amount of time. So uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to catch you in the next video. I've actually got a little bit of a surprise as well. So I've been working on something in the background that I'm going to be releasing hopefully the end of this week, but I can't guarantee it yet. But so I'll make another video on that as well. Uh, it should be pretty good and it should help a lot of you. Um, manage your plots on the go shall we just say that I'll give you a little hint so again thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video Day radical, emphatic, beat attic in the stab hit. I envelope the game, call me rabbit. rabbit. Hop to hop, I run the internet equivocally. Bitch, I beat hit.
hit him with the bite style symmetry. Digi, digital gangsta rep until I'm dead. Steady grip Apache logs when I'm looking for the feds. Fast forward, now the internet anonymous and captains of the low 